And the default behavior that the browser will give you is that the, it will align all the text on your left hand side. So basically, the English um, sentences starts from the left, so the browser also intends to print everything from the left, and that's the default behavior. Now, if you um, if you enable it again, then you'll see that the um, that it returns to its original position and the text is aligned at its center of the document. Now let's look at something else. Let's look at how this paragraph, how this paragraph, uh, how can we manipulate this paragraph on our stylings using the Firebug add-in. Now um, let's look at the color section, or you can just. Um, um, you can just play around a little and see how this stylings work. So we have chosen the first paragraph. Uh, you can choose this pointer symbol and then click on this so that it permanently gets selected on your DOM or this um, tree uh, or this um, or this layout section. So suppose we want to test out the color and if you cross this out you see it applies the default the browser behind the scene applies the default color now the default color on any web page that the browsers will apply is a black so you can even uh, tweak this code or you can even change this like if you want to change it something like yes that's um that's a great color let me use something different. Or maybe this, yeah, this will work. So, I think it's magenta or something, or it's pink. Yeah, I guess it's pink. So, you can actually change the color even on your browser. You don't need to go back. It won't save the changes, it's just to um, help you to understand how this entire thing works and how you can manipulate them once your page is downloaded on your browser. So behind the scenes you get this entire page and let me bring up the CSS uh, style sheet. So I um, think... Okay, it's inside this sample I guess, yes. It's inside this CSS folder. Perfect. So I was um, applying the style. Let's go back to Mozilla. So it's selecting the section element and it's looking at the paragraphs inside the section element. So I've applied this style even inside my style sheet. So if you look carefully, this is the part that I have changed on my browser. So when you um, when you uh, want to uh, visit a web page or a website, the web page needs to be downloaded on your um, browser. So because it is downloaded on your browser, you can you, you can actually change its stylings, you can tweak it, you can play around as you like. So uh, everything. So as I told you, the head section of this part gives the uh, information that the browser needs when it when it's going to print out the elements of the web page so the information one of the information is the um, style sheet uh, is the style sheet and this style sheets contain all the um, stylings of the elements so I've changed a little bit of styling and you can do the same thing um, sorry for that you can go back to your Mozilla Firefox. You can even look at this Mozilla. Um, you can even look at this uh, um, this Mozilla contributor site, I guess. Yeah, this is a volunteer site for from Mozilla. So I I've um, brought up this page, and remember that when you bring up a page on your browser, it gets downloaded. So when it gets downloaded, you can actually see all its elements, all its stylings, corresponding stylings on your 
uh, browser using 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 uh, the Firebug or the Inspect Element tool. So so now let's look at something else. Let's change some of the stylings. You see this picture has a rounded border that's red. I guess yes, and the picture the image it, I, uh, is not actually rounded. It was styled to become rounded. So let's choose this part. So if you click on this section, you see it shows the um, corresponding element on this layout. Now let's look at what we have got in here. So the it sh it's showing me the corresponding styling for this image, for this first image of my left hand side. So um, let's change something. You can even scroll down and look at other elements. So you see that some of the uh, stylings or some of the rules I'll be talking about this uh, I'll be talking about the rules after a while. So if you uh, look in this if you look closely you'll see this has been crossed out which means because we are specifying us uh, we are specifying a particular element on the web page this border this border styling does not apply to this uh, distinct element on the page that's why our firebug or uh, our firebug um, add-on has crossed it out so the relevant ones will appear at the top you can even see that this border style has also been crossed out now these are the relevant ones and that's why you don't see a cross or a line across these stylings which means we can manipulate them and look how they uh, 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 um, play around with their um, properties with the values so suppose let's make the um, let's make the photo like it's circular and let's make it a little more like square so let's change this percentage let's make it 50 I guess so if you make this 50 uh, let's make this 10 yeah so we have changed this now let's apply this now we have changed the um, we haven't changed the color but we have made the we have turned the circular photo into a square frame along with rounded edges so if you just move this away if you, um, if you apply zero in here you'll see edges that are sharp pointed so let's keep the one with 10 percent now it has got a border with five pixels and the border is solid which means there are no line breaks i mean which are there are no breaks or they, it's not dotted and it has got um value of a hexadecimal value so if you hover over this color this is the uh, numbers that you see in here along with an alphabet that is preceded with this pound sign or the hashtag tells you what is the color in hexadecimal so if you hover your mouse over this section you'll see, it will actually show you what color it is now let us change it something into something different let us use something like what can it be maybe this um, let's get this here and let's make the uh, border dotted. Okay. So you see, we got a new style entirely defined on the browser. It's not the actual one. I mean, it won't save the changes on the uh, actual web page, but it's helpful to make you understand how this thing is entirely working. So as I already told you, the entire thing along with the information, the entire HTML page along with its information like the style information is being downloaded on the web browser. So that's why you can manipulate anything on this, manipulate the designs, the contents on this browser. So what if like we wanted to change it into something more like 3 pixels. Yeah, there we go.
so we have a new style on uh, on this page that's uh, that's being statically